Last chance to excel, and we have not been excelling so far. The robots have been excelling. Uh, when we play this format, this is newer. This is a format you've never seen before in this series. And it's a format where we're being scored against human players. So we're in this, and today, we just have robots at the table. Robot partner, robot opponents. At every other table where we're seeing a score to, to, um, to rate against... It's all human being players, right? So it's a real tournament that was played at some point, and we are getting the results from that. So the robots do a lot of good stuff, and we've been at the mercy of a few of their really good scores, especially 6, 8, and 1. Not a lot we can do in those situations, and they get great, great scores because they are overachievers, these robots. Uh, here we have an automatic double, right? And one, one spade to us. We have a great shape, almost the perfect shape for this situation. We double. It goes past three clubs by our partner, which is an intermediate hand, right? This is like an invitational hand opposite our opening. And it's it's basically the next step. A lowest level response, which would be two clubs, would be zero to eight points. So when they jump one level, it's like a good nine to 11, something like that. Um, we don't have anything else to say. Right hand opponent showing a very good hand with spades. Um, I would normally lead the ace of clubs, folks, because we play ace from ace king, but the robot agrees to play king from ace king. And we see we played the king that went very fast, so let me show you that last trick. We played the king, and the declarer roughed it. Not surprising. Dummy had five clubs, so here we're just scooping up an extra trick there. This is a weird one. Uh, I'm going to play second hand low. I'm not expecting declarer to have the ace and the queen and lead hearts this way, so I think either partner's going to have one or both of those cards. Uh, spade through. We're Good job, partner. It looks like Declare's going to try to maybe trump some hearts, so we wanted to get that on the table. However, they just draw trump right away. That's interesting. Uh, we're going to save at least one club in our hand so we can exit, right? We want to be able to exit our hand safely, um, and that's what that club's going to be for. I also want to save diamonds just in case Declare's going to be in the business of setting up some extra diamonds. However... If they're voiding clubs, how many spades do they have? Did partner follow suit there? They didn't. Um, okay. And dummy had two spades, right? So, okay. All right, so we are still going to keep our ace of clubs. And here, certainly going to split just in case. We see the robot do some weird, weird stuff in these spots. And at this point, here's why we keep the exit card, right? Ace of clubs, safe. Get the heck out of there, right? And it doesn't matter what they have. If we let a heart, they would have won this, and they would have won the eight of hearts as well, right? So nothing we did there was going to matter, but it could, right? So if you have a way to get out of your hands safely, always try to hold on to that if you can so that when you do win, the tr win a trick, you get to avoid giving up one on the way back. As it turned out, we had a couple of choices to take there. No problem whatsoever. And there's our score. Look, being normal finally got us a good score. Uh, three spades, uh was reasonably normal to be in, and that was a nice number of tricks to be taking, 53.6%, and with the field finally on that one. Thank goodness, Robot. Uh, once again, eight points. We haven't had a lot of hands so far in this set, and that's the unfortunate part of just random hands, right? Sometimes you're just not going to get dealt good stuff. But honestly, we, we play a lot of best hand tournaments in this series, so this is more real bridge, so to speak. Uh, a diamond, three spades, double. Happy to say pass. Uh, our partner has a lot of spades. Uh, we have nothing to say to them. And also, we, interesting, they they led the 10 of clubs. So this looks like they're trying to find a way to us so we can lead a spade through to them. We're happily going to do this. Uh, sometimes you might play low here, um, but it looks like they really need a spade through, and we are going to give that to them. If they have ace, king, jack, sixth or seventh of spades, we're going to take a whole bunch of tricks here. Uh, I'm going to pitch a club. Oh, is it? It's the, it's the dream, folks. They found our entry, and they're taking all the tricks. So this is awesome, Bridge. I'm going to tell partner I like diamonds uh, just so they have an exit to come through when they're done. Uh, not that it's going to matter, folks. They, they are going to take the rest of the tricks once partner gets done taking those spades. And I think they can just claim, folks, but we'll let them play. Nice. All right, so don't uh, don't miss the opportunity, right? That play might look like, hey, I should let the 10 go. Maybe we can get them to come through again. But really, just count the suit as well. 
Uh, and in fact, uh, I'm, I'm going to do this. Let me hide this uh, or kind of show you what uh, what I'm thinking. So here, right when I when I see dummy uh, on that last one, and I I see two spades, right? I have one spade. Or sorry, sorry, excuse me. Dummy was on my right. <laughs> I see three spades, right? I also know my partner jumped to three spades, so that means they have seven of them, right? They could have they could have been two spades with only six. And I just have one spade. So that means Declare has 7, 10, 11, two spades. So if partner has ace, queen, or maybe partner had maybe was aggressive with six, maybe they have ace, king, jack, and the queen third is here, right? Uh, we're leading through it right away, right? So get that card in there. They found you. They found your entry. If you don't take those tricks right away, let me let me give you the hands back here. If you don't take the tricks right away, let's see. They will get... Uh, the, they'll be fine. Right? If we don't switch, they'll get three clubs, four diamonds for seven, or sorry, four hearts for seven. Uh, yeah, they're probably not going to make it. They stretched a little bit too much. Uh, let's see. Did anyone else play three no Trump? Yeah, a few people, and there they did. They found the right defense, right? There you go. Uh, they didn't find it directly right away, the best one, the club, although the diamond's probably better. You get it even more tricks, I think, because then you get your ace of clubs cashed and your spades. Magic. All right, back to business, folks. One more board to go. We're trending in the right direction, 53.85. We need another big result to get past 50 against these robots. They're, ru they're roughing us up. And technically, we're supposed to pass the scent. This is the rule of 15. We have three passes to us. So when you're in fourth chair, you add up your total high card points to your total number of spades. If it comes to 15 or more, you should open. If it's less than 15, you should pass. So here, this is 13 for us. So we are technically supposed to pass. And here's the deal, folks. Here's why. If we pass, the auction is over, and we're going to get a score of zero. doesn't mean we get 0%. It means our raw score is plus zero. If we bid and the opponents have a spade fit, they control the level that can be bid to, basically. So let's say we find a heart fit. We bid to the two heart level, but they can bid two spades. And that means we have to go to the three level, which means we're less likely to go plus when they have more spades. So that's why this rule works, and that's why you're supposed to obey it. I'm going to disobey it. And here's the problem, right? So when a diamond, a spade, double, four spades. I mean, I'm going to double this because it's it's right to pass, right? I'm supposed to pass. So why am I doubling? I'm doubling because I know I should have had plus zero. So any plus score is a win for me. So I'm doubling just in case someone else had the same auction and they didn't double so I can get even more match points. However... <laughs> If the double's wrong, it's not really going to cost me too much because, as I said, the correct bid was pass, and that's the bid that should have been made. And here, I, I'm glad we get to see this go so wrong. I hope. I hope. I, well, I hope it doesn't go wrong. <laughs> I actually hope we do get our four tricks in here, and uh, that's trending in a good direction. Yes, nice. <sighs> so that's all we want, folks. All we want is a score that's better than plus zero. So here we're going to get like plus 300. That's going to be awesome, um, which is way better than plus zero. And that's all we wanted, right? We just need a plus score. And we will take that to the bank. And we'll hope that gets us above 50% for the, for the event. Uh, this last board, it's going to be weird. It's going to spit out nothing but i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what this result at the end so here it kind of spits out this weird thing here and and then it, it doesn't do anything as far as uh showing us the results so here let me let me get over to my result stream see if i can get rid of this thing i don't want you <laughs> i don't i can't get rid of it folks but let me get the let me shelve it to the side here and i'm going to show you 100 percent for us on this board and the reason oh there we go got rid of it awesome 100 percent for us and that's because you should have passed this out. And oh, my God. Nobody passed it out. You know why? Of course, they opened in third seat or they opened in first seat. Uh, Right-hand opponent clearly has an opening bid in third chair. However, West has a two-spade opening bid as well. Weird that the robots chose not to do this. But honestly, look at this. 
we would have been devastated if we passed because the robots at the other tables, or excuse me, the robots at our table chose to pass the West End, whereas everybody else is just going to either preempt or open one, and then they're going to play four spades. We, with the benefit of knowing we sh- could have passed for zero points, got the double four spades, and that ended up being the win for us. And that ended up giving us 51.8%. We survived. Holy cow. What a brutal uh, set of deals because uh, let me show you uh, 1 through 12 here. Absolute crushed on this board, destroyed on this one where they just played perfectly against us, and also three clubs right here. I, again, I, I think we can do better if the robot ducks a diamond. Maybe we beat it a trick. But, again, n- nothing that we personally did th- that gave us the score. However, team-wise, we probably could have done better. Uh, as always, we I'm sure we could have found different ways. I could have found different ways to do better. But we'll take this nice closeout at the end to get above 50%. We needed a big one to get above, and we're happy we did so. So we'll be back with this again. Uh, I love it. And it is really good to play with actual real players and let me i'm going to bring you back to the screen to show you how you get here we'll bookend it uh, i'm at the i'm at the home screen now of bridge base and here's why i find it casual start a table premium deals and that gives you those score comparisons and it'll allow you to seat people across from you against you or any way you see fit with a number of players from one to four so have fun with it i'm glad you guys are back at the bridge tables and i'm glad i'm back at the weekly challenge i'll see you next week folks take care